Creatures and people united as one. Previously at Fairview High. Bruce found his way to Mark and Greg's apartment to finish his dirty work with Salmi. While Kirsten and Greg hid in the bedroom closet with a French poodle named Guido, Mark attempted to decipher Bruce's fear-ridden psychobabble. Just as Bruce began to realize the consequences of his violent actions, another mysterious space fighter banged on the door. After a face-off, Bruce was overpowered by the stranger, whom Mark and Greg nicknamed Rough. An hour later, the three friends have disagreeably decided to party with their new friend, Ruff. Kirsten, pipe down already. Pipe down? Is that all you can say? Think about it. What are we doing? For all we know, this rough guy might be just as insane as Bruce. Hey, just because someone is insane doesn't mean we can't eat tacos with them. Oh man, brother. Man, those tacos filled me up like a joint on a cold winter's eve. And look, I'm being pretty cautious. I mean, it's not like I blurted out where Sami is to him like he wanted me to. I'm waiting to see that he's not a psychopath first. Besides, look at him on that motorcycle. See, now that's cool. Yeah, they don't sell motorcycles to insane people, Kirsten. Everybody knows that. Mark, we're setting Mandred up to get ambushed again. Making it like she knows where Sami is when you and Greg are the ones who took him to the hospital. Don't you think she's been through enough? And how alive can Sami be when I'm sitting on his intestines here in the back seat of your car? Kirsten, seriously, you're starting to get on my nerves. And if you're so concerned about Mandy, then stop acting like Sami is dead. That's the last thing she needs. Yeah, calm down already. Sheesh. Ugh, fine, but don't blame me when we're all lying in our own guts at the club because Ruff turned out to be a sniper. Okay, everybody, get out of my car. We're here, and I don't want to hear any more of this... This... This doo-doo pie! Exactly, you took the words right out of my mouth, Greg. All right, let the clubbing begin! Hey, Ruff! <sighs> Hi, Ruff. So... So... What? So, did you like those tacos? They were pretty good, yeah. Yeah, well, they make you fart. And? And they're not very good for you. Okay, let's party! Mark! Oh, now what? Mark, aren't you going to ask Ruff how he knows Sami? Why don't you just ask him? I would, but it's hard to trust people with guns nowadays. Okay, am I the only one who's just a little freaked out by all the drama that's happened to us? Dude, of course we're freaked out, but come on, we just ate pulled pork tacos. That reminds me, I totally forgot to order a doggy bag for Giddle. Kirsten, just go dance around for a little bit. All your estrogen is giving me a headache. I don't know. I mean, this alternative music scene seems a little tame for our guest, don't you think? What are you talking about? It's rave night tonight at this place. Not a grunger in sight. Aw, no grungies. They're my favorite. I mean, shouldn't we be seeking out the cyber goth crowd in terms of rough? Kirsten, stop being so moody. It's like being around a giant tampon. Ugh, you know what? I'm going to go get a drink. Good, you need one. Crap, is she old enough to drink? Hey, Ruff, <laughs> margaritas on me. Or are you a tequila kind of guy? I'm gonna nurse a buttery nipple. You don't nurse those, Greg, you pound hey, Kirsten, em. wait up! <sighs> I'll tell you, these kids. So, Ruff, thanks for saving us from Bruce back at the apartment. It's a good thing you showed up, because I didn't know what to do with him, to be honest. Don't mention it. It's part of my job. Some job you got there. You buddies with Sami? You could say that. Is he your partner? Meaning? Um, like, <laughs> no, not like that. <laughs> Wait, is it like that? Like how? <laughs> like, Greg, where'd you go? Hang on, Ruff, I gotta make sure these kids don't wander off. Be right back! Mandred? Salmi, I'm so glad to see you. What are you doing here at the hospital? Oh, I'm sorry, I have to hug you. <sighs> Your shirt is moist. Are you bleeding? You should sit down. I'm all right. Are you okay? Shouldn't you be home? Home? Oh, I, I can't go back home. Bruce demolished my house when he tried to blast us, remember? You pulled me away from him like a flash of lightning going backwards in time. Your light speed, it's like it delayed the gunfire and made him miss us. I mean, I didn't see it, but I felt it. I guess the shots bounced off of you and hit the walls and the ceiling. Now it looks like a bomb went off in there. So, my parents... What about them, Mandy? It's just that when they came home and saw the place, they blamed me. My mom even said, See, I knew she was in a gang. They're so full of it. They know it wasn't me. 
but I'm out for good, so I came back here. My hospital bill is ginormous. What? But it wasn't your fault. It was Bruce. And me. I know, but my mom and dad, they, they can't stand me. They never wanted a girl. When something goes wrong, it's always my fault. Except this time, they told me not to come back. What? You mean they blamed you and then... And then they disowned me. I tried to tell the teachers that would happen. Andy. Saw me, it's all right. I'll, I'll figure something out. Maybe I can stay with Kirsten or maybe Mark and Greg will let me live with them. My friends usually help me out, you know? And if they can't, well, I'm almost 18. I can take care of myself. No, Mandy. I can't let you do that. Sammy. What happened at your house is my fault. If your family isn't willing to see that, then I want you to come live with me. Sammy, I can't live in space. Space? Who said anything about living in space? Are you... I thought... I thought what? Mandred, I may be different than you, but I'm not from outer space. I knew it! I knew you had to be human. Light speed or not, there's no other guy I've ever liked as much as I like you, and I know I'm not an alien. Mandy, let me make this right. Let me take care of you. I owe you that. Sami, you saved my life. You owe me nothing. No, I didn't. I took away the life you knew and left you with no family. Are you kidding? My parents have been trying to get rid of me for years. This was bound to happen. I'm sure everything will be okay for me eventually. Eventually is not good enough. Come live with me. I'll take care of you. I'll keep you safe. Oh, you're holding my hands. Is this really happening? No way. This is too good to be true. There's a base far away from here. Far away from your parents, far away from Bruce. I lived there for a few years before I came here. If you don't mind leaving your country for a while, we can live there together. As long as I don't have to leave the planet. <laughs> no. What do you say? Please, let me make it up to you, Mandy. As long as I can be with you, but... Sami, please, are you hurt? I need you to be okay. Don't worry about it. They patched me up. I just need to be near the ocean. I'll take you there. We can live on the edge of the sea, at the base on the other side of the world. Okay, Sami, let's do it. Found you, here. What are you doing here? Where is Sami? Where did you come from? I thought you were working the base in Cairo. I was, but then I heard that Sami had been kidnapped. I tried to contact him, but never got a response. You heard wrong, and you're not the only one trying to get a hold of him. Go back to Egypt. I have this under control. Doesn't look like it. What do you care? Don't you have a cult of followers back home that think you're some kind of Anubis? You're just envious of my admirers. I won't hold it against you. Hey, look! Ruff made a new friend already! Dude, check this guy out! Now this is what a raver is supposed to look like! What are these, dreadlocks? Who is this? Who's this, he asks. I'm Greg. Duh. What you guys doing? Talking. Go away, you little peon. Hey, Ruff, I think Kirsten secretly wants you to bone her. Get it? Ruff's gonna bone Kirsten? Did he just call you Ruff? Yeah, I called him Ruff, because that's his name, Ruff McGruff. He's like the crime dog. Never heard of him. Say, what's your name? Dude, do you know Bruce? Greg, quit running off. If you get drunk, I'll have to be the one to carry your fat butt back inside of the apartment. Hey, speaking of P-H-A-T fat, who's this guy, Golden Rasta 101? Hey, I'm gonna go buy this guy a drink. <laughs> Best idea I've heard all day. All right, you want a vodka on the rocks or what? Get him one of those drinks where they put an umbrella in it. They have little duckies on them, like little patitos. Oh man, okay, hold on, patos. I'm gonna get you some of those patito fombritos. Patito, patito, and I know I'm gonna fombrito. Ay, que listo, y que espido. Guys, what's going on? Uh-oh, Kirsten's hammered. I am not hammered. I've only had like three. Look, rough. I'm sorry for giving you a hard time before. I was just upset. You know, Mila tried to kill me. Do you know what that is like? Hey, Kirsten, this is our new friend, Patos. Patos? That is not my name. It is now. What? And Patos, since you're here already, meet Mark, Greg, and Kirsten, friends of Sami's. Wait. You three kids know where Sami is? Well, we know where he is in theory. And I'm not a kid, I'm 21. Don't tell him 
anything. Hey, we had a deal. I called an ambulance for your buddy Bruce and disarmed him. Now you owe me an explanation. Wait a second. These are the people who were holding Sami hostage. Holding Sami hostage? Is that what they told you back in Tokyo? Psh, figures. Yes, and it figures that I'd find you slacking off with a bunch of, what are these, college kids? Actually, we go to Fairview High. Wait. Kirsten, you little liar! You're not old enough to drink! Um, hello, my fake ID says I'm old enough. Come on, Ruff, let's go dance. Sure thing, babe. Yeah! Woohoo! See, I told you she thought he was sexy, she just didn't want to admit it. What do you guys know about Sami? Dude, if we tell you about Sami, will you promise not to try and kill us? Kill you? Please! If I wanted to kill you, I would have thoroughly done it already. Um... Okay. Sami's our friend. You need to be nice to him, Patos. Sami is my friend, too. You know, Sami's like the most popular guy at our school right now. Hey, Patos, let's get real. How do you know Sami? Wait a minute. Fairview High. The school. That's right. Sami was working there, wasn't he? As a student teacher with me, yeah. Now I get it. You're from the class. Well, I'm not. I am! And Kirsten is too! I see. So you've met... What did you say his name was? Ruff? Yeah, Ruff! Ruff McGruff! Ah. Glad that's all cleared up. Oh, but it is. Yeah, we saved Sami, you know. He was bleeding all over us and we took him to the hospital and now he's being rebuilt like a cyborg! A Mondo cyborg! What? Dude, he's just kidding. <laughs> Sami's not being rebuilt like a cyborg. He's a super Sami! But we did have to take him to the hospital. This guy Bruce attacked him. So Sami's at some hospital here in town? Yeah, the Cran Hospital. Okay then, good to know. Now, can I please buy you one of those drinks that was named after you, Patos? If you insist. Awesome! All right, it's margarita time. I bet you can't hold your liquor with this high quality stuff. Is that a challenge? I accept. Bring me one of those patitos. Bring you one? Heck, I'll bring you 10. It's dollar margarita night, yeah! Oh, I am so intoxicated. Those patitos were strangely divine. Freaking heck, where's Ruff McGruff? Yeah, Patos is wasted! Rock and roll! Ruff? Ruff took Ruff a McGruff. point out of Kirsten. Dude, did they do it? Oh, what did you guys really give me? The last time I felt like this, I was in the Caribbean. Or was I with that belly dancer? Wait, where am I right Batito, now? Patito, Patito, I don't know, I'm, I'm a good of hombrito. Ay, que listo, y que espero, Patito, Patito. Best song ever written. Watch out, kids. The projectile vomit's coming your way. Ah, quick, somebody get Patito to a toilet. I'll do it. Come on, Patos, you had one too many. Aim for the trash can, aim for the trash <laughs> can. Ah, gross. Nice shot, though. Ha! <laughs> Get it? Nice shot! I'm a genius! Ah, gross. Patos threw up. Ew! Okay, I think it's time for us to go. You guys, let's give Patos some lucky charms on the way home to help take the edge off. Um, guys, what about... <laughs> okay, never mind. Come on, Patos. Ah, this is not the reason I came here. Oh, why does this always happen? Yeah, it is, Patos. Yeah, come on, admit it, we're fun. Okay guys, I'm gonna go get the car and just like pull up so you can throw Patos in the back seat with Sami's guy. No, Kirsten, you're too drunk. I'll go get the car. You guys are all wasted and it's my car, so I'll get it. Just wait here, I'll be outside. Uh, hello? Mark, this is Mr. Babble. Hey, hey I can't talk, Patos just barfed up a lot. We have an assignment for you. Yes, Mark, we need you to bring Sami's friend Ruff to the school. Uh, okay. But wait, why? Mark, don't ask questions. Just do it. Right now? As soon as possible, yes. How do you know about Ruff? Wait, did I tell you? Aw, oh, man, my head is throbbing. I think I drank too many potitos. Mark, Mark, Mark. You should know by now that we know everything that's going on. That's how it works at Fairview. 
we monitor who we think might be the most entertaining. All right. Hey, wait a minute. If you're always keeping an eye on us, then why didn't you do something about Mila? She might still be here if you had intervened. Mark, we said we monitor you kids. We didn't say we monitor you kids all the time. Now bring Ruff to Fairview. Can I just send him over there? I mean, the kids are kind of drunk, so... Yes, 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 we know. Fine, send Ruff our way. Okay. Hey, Ruff. Is that you over there in the shadows? You falling in love with the parking lot or something? Or are you just kind of a wallflower? More like an observer. Okay, that's great. So the teachers at Fairview want you to come by and see them tonight. I think it's related to Sami, but they didn't really say. I'm still waiting for you to tell me where he is. Well, I... Okay, I guess I trust you. We took him to the Cran Hospital. That's where he is right now. Thanks for telling me. See you around. Sami! Brother! Sami, are you alright? Bro! You're here! You got my message! Yes, what happened? You don't look so good. You shouldn't be zooming around like this. I don't remember it very well. I was just leaving the hospital. I see stitches on your torso. They're gonna rip if you keep blurring around like that. Are you shot? How many times? I don't know. Five or six? Or at least that's what they said. But you know me. I can absorb it. This was more like an implosion from taking on too much. You can't be well. Let me take you back to Japan. I know how much you like it there. I don't need you to. I'm already going back tonight. With Mandred. Who is this Mandred person I keep hearing about? She's my friend. And she's... She's what? She's just... important to me. Important enough to get shot in the stomach for? I just told you that's not what happened. Sami, I'm here now. You don't need to keep spending your time with these kids. Mandy's not a kid. Sounds like you're a little too attached to this place. At least I'm attached to something. Hey, I came here to rescue you. Well, I appreciate that, and I'm happy to see you. But I promised Mandy I would make it up to her, and that's what I'm gonna do. I only came back this way to pay her bill. She's at the airport now. Our flight leaves in 20 minutes. Gotta go. See you later, bro. Saw me. No, wait. <laughs> Ugh. What? Trouble in paradise, Ruff McGruff? I know it's late, but we're here to help. Come by the school, we have a surprise for you. I'm done with surprises for tonight. Oh, don't worry, we guarantee this will be worth your while. Yeah, well it better be. See you soon, but only because I don't have anything better to do. There's no one here at the school. Is this some kind of setup? <laughs> Don't make any sudden movements, Ruff. We've got you surrounded by our good friends from the SWAT team. That's right, Ruff McGruff. That's not my real name, you know. Now, you're under arrest for blowing up our school. What? Is this some kind of a joke? Put your hands up in the air or I'll have the SWAT team here fire on you. I can't believe this. Fine, they're up. Good. Now, give them a blowhorn, boys. I got a few questions for them. Ow! All right, who threw the blowhorn in my face? Pick it up, Ruff, and let's chat. You two think you're real slick, huh? Sending me over to that apartment to fight that Bruce guy so you wouldn't have to. Yeah, sure. Now, Ruff, there are two ways that this can go. Two very opposite directions. I get it. I've got two choices. What are they? We need someone to fix our school. Yes, and we're short a student teacher now that Sami's out of commission. So. So. So what? So you vow to fix our school while taking Sami's place. Or you take his place in prison. Either way, contracts will be signed. Yes, and paperwork will be filed. For our safekeeping, of course. Why, of course, Mr. Babble. I hate to break it to you, but I'm not exactly a construction worker. Oh, your salary for being a student teacher here will cover the damages at our school. Yes, indeed. And, just to sweeten the deal, we'll wipe Sami's record clean if you so choose to be compliant. Indubitably. You'll wipe Sami's record clean, as in, he had nothing to do with all this destruction? That would be your doing, Ruff. That's right. Or at least that's what your records will say. Fine. I'll do it. I love it when you kids cooperate. Oh, by the way, we've had it with all the gunplay, Ruff. Yes. Strip him down, fellas. Oh, and... Take the bike. What? You can't take my motorcycle. Oh, but we can. You see, 
selling it will help pay for the damages at our school. We intend to sell your guns as well. You know, it's that Mila woman's fault this all happened, not mine or Sami's. We'll be the judge of that, Ruff. Why, that's what we do here at Fairview High. That's right, Mr. Witt. Welcome to our school, Ruff. You start tomorrow. Duh! Hey, buddy, what was that for? Oh, that's nothing. He's just putting a little chip inside of your skin for us to keep better track of you. What with you being a criminal, as your highly classified records indicated to us. Just a little extra precaution. Now, we'll see you here tomorrow at 7.30 a.m. sharp. Have a good rest of the night. Oh, and rough. Don't worry about finding a place to sleep tonight. These dandy young gentlemen will be escorting you to a nice, cozy cell for the evening. Yeah, right. Ah! Enough with the needles, you guys. See, Mr. Witt, I told you sedating him was a good idea. Sure was. Pleasant dreams, Ruff McGruff. That's not my name. Take him away, boys. End of episode four. Fair you. Yeah.